Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Quick Plays Minecraft. Whoops, forgot to switch it to full screen. Alright, this is Thwip, as always. And we're gonna do something today. Oh, no, not that. Not the spider, not the skeleton. Spider, get out of my face. I don't want you. We're gonna try to catch a zombie here. This little zombie. Oh, we got two. two of them. All right, well, I'll, I'll capture both of you and hold a contest. Haha! So pro. You get in there. Yeah. Open the door. Open the door. Flip. There we go. Get, get in here. Get in here, zombie. Come on now, get in here. I'm no longer in this little field of view. Ha! I win! Now here's the problem. And I'm not really gonna. It's too much of a hassle trying to get one in there. Okay, zombie. Now for the true challenge. Can you pick up items? Here's what I want to do. Grab any leather. Boots. Any boots. Any boots. Any boots. Give me some leather. Give me some boots. Now, I couldn't really figure out what to use the next name tag for. You know, because there wasn't really any... I mean, I could have named the Mule Sal, or whatever. And there was like, you know, a few little things, minor crap that I could have done. Do I not have any? Oh, here it is. Derp. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with all this friggin' leather? Um, and I decided... Is that this one that's taking damage? Oh, we can pick up items! Damn it, we picked up that block of wood. It's okay, it's fine. I don't mind that you picked up a block of wood, it's okay. I was watching a video, my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, who's not a Let's Player actually, Olin Rogers is his name. Some of you have probably heard of him. And um, he was telling one of his stories about um, A roller skating zombie. I know this sounds odd, but if you're aware of Olin Rogers, you know who he is. This is just a fun little little reference I'm making for myself. A roller skating zombie named Froley. That's what we're doing here. What we're trying to capture. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. I can't. I can't do it. Especially can't do it if I do that. Give me like, give me like a half hour and I'll manage to get up on this thing. Okay. Take the boots. Take the boots. Zombie. I can't whistle. That won't work. Hello, zombie. You can get to me. Oh, yes, you can get to me. Oh crap, he can get to me. Ha 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 ha. Now he will not despawn. I'm not gonna name him right away, I just wanted to apprehend one here. Yeah, so his name's gonna be Froley. I should probably make a helmet for him at some point, but just just as long as I know he won't despawn, I am happy. So more stuff on the agenda. We're gonna put this horse armor on on the horses, obviously. Okay, you have iron horse armor, but no saddle, and that is just such a damn shame. So here you go. You're moderately fast. Yeah, I like you. 
Uh, I'm gonna give this diamond horse armor to uh, Sergeant Pepper. Uh, Sergeant Pepper is uh, this guy right here. I named him Sergeant Pepper while we were gone. Maybe that's what I should use the name tag for. Maybe I'll keep the zombie for a while until I find another another name tag. Whatever. I mean, I got. No, I think Sergeant Pepper is a better reference that everyone will understand and enjoy. Yeah. So I'll I'll name him Sergeant Pepper because he's got like. Oh wait, no. Is he? He's already. Sorry. We'll do a trade then. He's got sort of like peppery, peppery textured fur. Horse fur skin. I can probably armor up all of my horses now, actually. Are all of the ones in here armored up? Yes, they are. Getting some zombies spawning, burning to death. That's always fun. Well, I actually have spares. I will have spare horse armor. I am moving on up in this world. But, oh no, she's got got iron. Thought you were normal. You sir, you sir will have some iron. And you sir will have some gold. Yeah, gold. You you just look majestic with the gold. That's all there is to it. Oh, this was this one of Snowfire's parents. I don't remember. Whoop! Right away! <laughs> right away! <laughs> oh, crisis averted. Okay, thought I might have missed that last one. And of course, the ever so lovely XP orbs. Where are they on the roof? Where are they? I think I figured out our, vill our villager problem. I'm gonna make this door closed, and sorry if I already mentioned this, but I'm gonna make this door closed. This will no longer be an open door, which will also give me room for more stables here. Um, and uh, there's gonna be... I'm gonna build a silo next to this, and you're sort of gonna be able to get through the door on, on the silo, and then climb up, and then hop into the barn. And I know it seems overcomplicated, but it's, as long as it aesthetic, aesthetically look, bleh, looks okay, I'll be fine. And I know that like the horses are in there, and I can't get them out, but I'll just, I'll just figure that out later. <laughs> It'll be a, a secret exit, or I'll be able to like take them upstairs and jump out into the water. I don't know, I'll figure something out for the horses, but yeah, that's, that's what I'll do, is I'll have like some sort of silo ladder entrance that neither the villager nor the mobs could use. Or I would just have like a pretty pretty high jump that the horses would have to make in order to exit the barn. Maybe that's what I'd do. I'm only going to ride Snowfire, and Snowfire has like a jump height of four, so. Uh-oh. Might actually be able to accommodate all my horses in here now. Ugh. But if there's one to get rid of, it's definitely going to be this guy. He's deathly slow. And such low hearts. <gasps> there's a zombie in there. Is he with Sergeant Pepper? There's a skeleton in here. Get in here, bud. Get in here. I'll take care of this. Don't worry. Get out of there. Hey. How is he shooting me? How are they such good friggin' shots? See, that's, a, that's very much a hazard. Because if one of these guys gets in here with the horses, and they try to shoot me, that horse could very, very easily die. Very exceptionally easily. Because, yeah. So, whew. Totally. Moving more horses into the barn. Anything else we're gonna do today? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna do what I just described. I mean, this will probably be the last horse that I move on camera. The only problem is, is like, I only really play when I'm on camera. Otherwise, I'm just on here doing little stupid frivolous crap. 
Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll build the barn. I should have moved these guys off camera, but I didn't. So, yeah, that's where my life stands. All right, time to get started on this. If anyone could recognize what I just did there, I would be moderately impressed. Just putting that out there. Breaking some blocks and breaking more blocks and breaking some blocks and breaking more blocks and breaking some blocks and breaking more blocks and breaking more blocks and breaking some blocks and my words are flowing together. Oh, look at the beautiful patchwork I've done on this dirt. That's. I wish that you could keep it like that somehow. Like, I wish you could use. You could take bone meal and like combine it with blaze powder or something weird like that, and you could just stop grass from growing with it. I totally make some. It's a good deal to me. Okay, get these dark oak wood planks. Bye bye horses. Actually, oh, you know what? I have to keep this open. I have to keep this open to an extent because I need to move the other horses in here. I forgot about that. I, I just laugh at myself when I take ball damage. It's just, it's just fine. It's just funny. Ugh. That's good. I'll just leave that part open. It's becoming nightfall already? Ugh, what a waste of time. It's okay, Farmer Bill. We'll get you home soon. Into this barn. That you'll have to live in forever. Now, what are we going to build this silo out of? That is a very good question, viewer, who totally asked that question. We are going to build it not out of jungle wood. That is for certain. We're not going to build it out of jungle wood. We will build it... Hello... Hello. Goodbye. Oh. Change the book. Wah! Two. Oh. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Nothing else? Okay. Oh, so much iron. More iron than I know what to do with. I don't put this gold here, this gold goes here. I mean, my useless materials covered. Oh. What a time it's been. What a time it's been. Let me look at all the blocks that I have. Got some of that, got some of that. Got some of these. What's in there? Oh, I wish I could make the uh, pillar quartz look more bland. Do you have anything else that's pillar-dish? What are silos made out of in real life? They're made out of... Hmm. That's a good friggin' question. That's a really good question. I'll build the friggin' silo later. I can do something else this episode. <laughs> What was I gonna do? I'll run around and level. Holy crap, someone doesn't want my house to live through the night. Gee, plus. I honestly think creepers are intended to spawn closer to, to player player made structures. I think I think that's the way they do it. Because they always freaking spawn in clusters like that right around my house. That was lucky. I, pr I probably should have retreated back inside rather than sort of charging through them. That could have most certainly been very bad. If I was still using like the old sprint key where I would get the disco sprint, there's a very good chance I wouldn't have survived that.
There. Oh. Not back. Not back. Oh, I gotta kill some Enderman too. Those XP orbs lined up with my arrow shots kind of perfectly. Made me think I was playing like DVZ or something. Bing, 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 bing. It's like, oh man, I'm just hitting this thing left and right. It's, it looks brighter. It looks like it's daytime outside when I'm under here. Ooh, there's a chanted bow in our midst. I'm trying to get a music disc here. Uh-oh. Crap. We're killing each other now. Ooh, another enchanted bow. Hello. Ooh, I see an opportunity. Oh. Too many opportunities. I'm overwhelmed with opportunities here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're no good. This is no good. Ah, oh, dang it, skeletons, why you gotta be fighting each other? I was so close, man. I hit that creeper once, it took a little bit of fall damage, that would have been perfect. Get, get out of here. Fire protection. Of course, the very comedic, comical, arrow sticking out of the head. I have achieved it. Oh. Did they change the length of time it took for the creeper to explode? Hey look, it's a baby. It's a little itty bitty baby. Something feels different. But only to me. End of story. Enderman, that's what I'm looking for. I was like, oh, I came out here to do something, and then I decided what I was going to do. Yeah, let's do that. It's Enderman stuff. Okay, I see yet another opportunity, oddly enough, to get a music disc. As long as I don't aggro these skeletons. Oh, I aggro them. Of course I did. Hey, buddy. Oh, they both have enchanted bows. This is perfectly beautiful. I'm still going to use this opportunity. Take the shot. Take the shot, Skelly. Ah! Dang it! Dang it, Creeper! <laughs> Why you gotta be such an asshole, Creeper? <gasps> no! <laughs> Jesus. This is a very hostile night tonight. Not one enchanted bow yet. Protection one. Oh, that was a stupid idea. But I survived. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Again, someone does not want my house to be entered or exited tonight. As you can see over there. Probably not the time to be patching this up, but why not? I think there's one right there, yeah, and there's some over here. Seamless. You mother... Don't you hate when that happens? I just took like 15 minutes sealing up that hole. Not really 15 minutes, otherwise this would be a very slow episode. 
Luckily, it was one of the ones guarding my house, so he's away from there now. By the time I'm done, I'm gonna have a dirt trail going right to my front door. I feel like if you give a zombie a helmet, or any mob for that matter, they should thank you. Because now they cannot die. Unless, of course, you kill them. But they can just walk around. They won't despawn. You know. Of course, you get a boat from this boring, normal boat guy. Enchanted gear. Nothing worth my while, though. Hello, Skevy. You know, cause I like that should be a little Easter egg. Cause like, if you give a mob a helmet, it will stop mobbing you. Oh, perfect! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it, Skelly! Hit it! Ah. They always shoot at the worst time when you're trying to get a music disc. Hit it, Skelly. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, you bastard skeleton. Why does that happen? The game doesn't want you to get music discs. It's like the skeleton shot simultaneously as the creeper fell into the water. And then it, the entire damn time the creeper was walking towards me, the skeleton was staring at me, but it wouldn't friggin' shoot its friend. One more shot and that creeper would have totally been dead. I would have bet my life on that. That creeper would have died with one more bow shot. Oh, it makes me so mad. Haha, <laughs> perfect-ish. All right, well. That's the end of my episode for today. How'd y'all enjoy this lovely waste of time? Where I did not kill an Enderman, get a music disc, or an enchanted bow, but two more pieces of useless friggin' fricassee gold armor. <laughs> not even chain armor, gold armor. Chain armor is useless armor, but it's fun because you can say, oh yeah, I got a full set of chain armor. Think about that. Loser. You know, if you're talking to a loser. But then this is just. Ugh. It's gold. And it's fire protection one. Wow, that's super useful if I want one fire protection. Oh, we got a. We got a spider and a zombie under, underground beneath our base. Is there a creeper in here? Yep, there is. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hello, creeper. Please come outside. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Walk through it, walk through it. Okay, good job, good job, buddy. Okay, this skeleton sounds annoying me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Shoot me a like and some. Oh man, the creepers everywhere today. It's Creeper City up in here. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. I stopped sprinting. I stopped sprinting and he stayed in the corner. Thank God that creeper glitched out for a second. I totally would have got my chest blown up if that creeper had not been a broken creeper. Oh, there we go. At least I got full set now. With two enchanted pieces. And this will just be my line of chest plates. Chest plates by Thwip Blazes. Any anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Uh, you know, give me a like. It's not that hard. It's one one little button that helps me out a ton. Really goes a long way. 
longer way than you think. I mean, most most Let's Players are like, oh yeah, you know, give me a like, and they you think it's just like, oh yeah, people like me, and that's that's all there is to it. But that's really not all there is to it. Pretty much everything this channel is is based on likes, more so than views, more so even than subscribers probably is likes. So uh, uh I would I would really appreciate it if y'all gave me one, and bye bye.